and welcome to this spooky October 31st edition of the Dragon's Lair. Coming from the Warren County Career Center Television Studio, I made Anthony bring you the latest happenings around our Warren County community. Our first story today takes us to Warren Area High School, where the boys and girls cross country teams have both qualified for the PIAA state championships in Hershey, Pennsylvania. The girls team is returning for their second consecutive year, while this marks a significant milestone for the boys team as they qualify for the first time in 25 years. Congratulations to both of our cross country teams on such an incredible achievement. Now turning to the political spotlight, we are just five days away from the big 2024 presidential election. As of October 28th, Democratic candidate Vice President Kamala Harris holds a slim one point lead over former President Donald Trump. Officials are saying this election could be too close to predict as just a thousand votes could settle this election. With polls opening on November the 5th from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and thousands of mail-in ballots already being sent in, both candidates are gearing up for their final rallies to sway those last few undecided voters. Stay tuned for updates as this unpredictable election unfolds. And be sure to fulfill your civic duty by voting if you're old enough and registered. Alrighty, taking it back to Warren for those looking to grab some haunted treats. Remember that tonight in Warren, trick-or-treating is happening from 6 to 8 p.m. Be sure to check out all the trick-or-treating events being hosted by our local Local churches and volunteer fire departments. If you're looking for a spooktacular evening, be sure to get out for a fun-filled evening in Warren County. Taking it back to Warren Area High School, in some music news, our very own Dragon Marching Band is set to take the court in Cleveland, Ohio. The Marching Dragons are set to perform on the court of the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, showcasing a piece from their 2024 program. They will be performing in front of 19,000 fans during this Friday's Cleveland Cavaliers game. What an incredible opportunity for our talented young musicians. So good luck to all the members of the Dragon Marching Band. And have fun with it as well. Our final story today takes us to North Warren where residents are buzzing about the delayed construction of the long-awaited Starbucks coffee shop. With no electrical service being integrated into the building, the process has come to an unexpected halt. The simple mistake has costed crews valuable time and has pushed the expected opening time frame from late December to mid-January. Crews are working diligently to resolve permit and zoning issues to get electrical service integrated into the building as soon as possible. We will keep you updated on any further developments. That is a very controversial topic in Warren County recently. Wow, lots of stuff happening in Warren County this weekend. That is going to go ahead and wrap up today's segment of the Dragon's Lair. Coming from the TV studio here in the Warren County Career Center, my name is Aiden Anthony. Be sure to have a happy Halloween. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time in the Dragon's Lair.